It's a Friday in the fall, and that means Texas high school football is back. I'm on two right and that now. means your Fort Bank Christian Academy Eagles are back on the field for their home opener against the Iowa Colony Pioneers. Hi, my name is Jackson Champion, and I am joined by my good friend Derek Jordan. And we've got a great game for you tonight. Fort Bank Christian Academy last year finished 9-4. and four. They went 5-0 and oh in district evening, and made it all the way to the semifinals before losing to Second Baptist. Just how special was that season, Derek? That was an incredible season, Jackson. Historic for Fort Bank Christian Academy. Quarterback Brady Dever broke several records. Joined by weapons on the wide receiving core, Brian Domino, Brandon Gardoni, and last year, Brady had Marcus Christian and Donovan Dixon also there. So this year, we have to replace a few a few players who did make a big difference. Running back Sam LeBlue, like I said, court, uh, wide receivers Marcus Cretion and Donovan Dixon, as well as defensive players Tavian Guidry and Blaine Baird. However, the Eagles have added quite a bit of talent in linebacker Connor Tallis and defensive backs Jordan Rogers and Corey White. So the Eagles are looking to bounce back and have just as good of a season as they did last year, if not better. Not only are they going to be having a couple new transfers, they have a lot of players who were on JV last year. They're going to be coming up to varsity, so it's going to be really fun to watch this team grow, especially early on in the years. They face Iowa Colony, who's playing their first ever game as a high school out in Alvin ISD. They're out near Manville and in between Alvin. They took, they took some kids from Manville High School and Shadow Creek High School. This is a team full of just freshmen and sophomores. No upperclassmen. They've got some big bodies on that team. Yeah, and like you said, Jackson, no upperclassmen. First year as a school. But, I mean, if you can see, they've got quite a few big kids on their team. A lot of kids over six foot, up in that five, five foot range. They've got some size, they've got some weight, and they sure do have some talent. Coming from Alvin ISD, like you said, taking talent from a lot of high schools in the area, they're looking to start their season off right with a win here against FBCA. So we'll see how this game goes. Very even fight coming up here. Going to be an exciting matchup coming up between Fort Bend, Christian Academy Eagles, and the Iowa Colony Pioneers. We are just two and a half minutes away from kick as the national anthem is just about to take place. So we will pause for the national anthem. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight thrilled at the opportunity we have to be together and enjoy this terrific evening. We thank you for each of these students that will be performing this evening on the field, the sidelines and in the stands. We ask you to protect each one of them as they perform. We thank you for the talents and the abilities that you have given them. Lord, we seek your guidance and direction as fans and participants in all of our actions and words that they may be pleasing to you. Lord, we love you and we thank you for loving us unconditionally. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. The anthem will be sung tonight by Junior Ali Gregori. This is Ali's fifth year on our FBCA Praise and Worship Team and her first year on the Varsity Cheer Squad. While at FBCA, Ali has been recognized as a Division II TAP State Swimmer as well as a TAP Division III All-State Dancer. She's performed in 27 musicals within the community and at FPCA. Please welcome Alec Gregoric, who will now sing the national anthem. Okay, one, two. Our camera one, start on the left side of our guys and slowly pan to the right. Start on the left side of our guys.
that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star single band I yet wave for the land of the free and the The coin toss is just about to go underway, but before then, we talked to a couple of senior captains on this team, and Brady Dever and Jalen Zuber. We asked Brady what his goals were for the season as a team and personal. He said, as team goals, we want to win a state championship. Personal goals, I want to go for 5,000 yards and 80 touchdowns. Actually, 5,700 yards and 80 touchdowns. 5,700 is the Texas State record, so I want to break that, he says. Then we asked about what preparation he had over the summer. He said, as a team, we were up here every day this summer, working out, doing our 7-on-7 seven -seven stuff. We've been building team chemistry, lots of training and running, especially Coach Black's lifts. We just have one goal in mind, to win a state championship. After that, we questioned defensive leader Jalen Zuber, and he said, personally, my goals this year are to dominate both sides of the ball. First team all state and first team all district are my goals. Our team goals is to do better than we did last year. We went to the state final four. Athlete for athlete, we are a better team this year. I feel like what I've done and what the team has done is the same in terms of preparation over the summer. It's just being up here at the field house, lifting, running, twerking out, and making sure we're in shape for this upcoming season. So as the coin toss has just been decided, it appears that Iowa Colony is going to take the ball in the first half. So the Eagles will get the ball to start the second half as we'll see the Eagle defense start out tonight. Captains Brady Dever, James Donovan, Aiden Rhodes, and Jalen Zuver jog off the field as kick defense prepares to take the field against Iowa Colony this evening. And yes, you are watching it, folks. High school football is back this year. And Fort Bend Christian Academy, led by Jordan Black, is ready to take back a state championship and get their first ever in school history. Iowa Colony is led by head coach Raymond Garza. As he gets his pioneers ready to go as kicker Emmanuel Montoya is set to send it deep. The cheerleaders are ready, the fans are ready, the players are ready, and the kick is off, and the season has begun. The kick is caught by about the 10-yard line. It's going to be, he's going to be blasted at about the 24-yard line. And Connor Towers makes his presence known right out the gates with a huge tackle. I believe that was Jordan Rogers who delivered that blow, number 21 right there. Absolutely devastating hit, stopping the Iowa Colony Pioneers at around the 24-yard line. And the Iowa Colony Pioneers offense will set up shop here and be ready to go. Eagles defense led by Max Granville and Jalen Zuber this year on the line right there. Both players coming off an incredible season last year. Looking to start off well this season. Number eight, Kamal Henry is the quarterback for the Pioneers. He hands it off here on the first play, and that one's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage by Jalen Zuber for a gain of about two yards. And a big thing we saw last year, Jackson, was the battle in the trenches, and the Eagles seem to win that battle in almost every game they played in. And the defensive line is going to be so key this year. Jalen Zuber, Ivan Jimmy Duxworth, Max Granville, and Jacob Bjornheld on the defensive line for the Eagles. Henry's in shotgun with three receivers to his right. He hands it off wide to the top high side and that he's gonna get up for a first down and up to about the 35 yard line and now move the chains. Linebacker Caleb Bratcher there on the blitz. Ball went the other way. Looking to see what new defensive coordinator Coach Mack has done with the defense this year. I think this this game will be a, a great representation of what the Eagles defense will look like for the rest of the season. Great carry there by sophomore Jacody Miles. As it is now first and 10 from the 35 for the Pioneers.
Henry's in shotgun. He fakes the handoff and keeps it. Max Granville is all over that, but he stays on his feet. And he gets away from all the initial tackles, but he's going to retreat out of bounds to the 30-yard line. They'll miss the sack, but they'll force, force him out of bounds for a loss of five. And that'll bring up second down and 15. Great play there by Granville, and he's going to be such a critical part of this Eagles defense this year. Just got offered by Baylor today. Max Granville, number 13 right there, on the right side of the defensive line, playing defensive end. Only a sophomore. He's just going to continue to get better and better. As you can see, he's already a big part of this Eagles defense in this game. Second and 15 for the Pioneers. As Henry drops back for the first time in the game, and he finds a wide-open receiver around the 40-yard line. He makes it up to the 42 before being tackled. And that's going to be a 12 yards for number 9, Greg Gidry. That's going to leave us a third down and short for the Pioneers. Great play there by Kobe Sellers to make that tackle. Wide open receiver there. Not sure what happened with the Eagles defense. Looking to make a stop here. Force fourth down. Third down is ensuing as Henry is still in shotgun with Myers to his right. It's going to be a design quarterback run to the right. And it's going to be a no first down. He's going to be short by about a yard and a half. And that's going to bring up fourth down. And we'll see if the Pioneers bring out the special teams here. If they go for it here on fourth down. Very short fourth down opportunity here for the Pioneers. And we'll see some changes. It looks like the special teams is coming out. And the Pioneers will punt the ball away to the Eagles. So the first possession for the defense goes down. Success for the Eagles as the Pioneers are in punt formation. Back deep to receive for the Eagles is number one, Kobe Sellers. The punt is away by Henry, the quarterback. And it's going to go out of bounds. It's a little bit in front of the 30. Round the Eagles will take over around the 29-yard line. Jackson, what are we looking for in the Eagles offense this year? The Eagles offense is headlined by quarterback Brady Dever. He's returning for his senior year. Quarterback and baseball player committed to the University of Brown. New running back, starting running back this year for the Eagles, Sorrell Taylor. He's a senior. And out wide for the Eagles, we'll have Braylon Gardoni, Brian Domino, James Donovan, Tyler Curry. Tyler Curry, just a sophomore, looking to have a big season this year. Really fill the shoes of graduated senior Marcus Cretion. Brady's in shotgun, looks quickly to his right. He's going to find, quickly find Brian Donovan, who's going to instantly fall down for a short gain. That's going to give up second down. It appears Domino just slipped right there, and Domino will be Devers' main target this year, along with Braylon Gardoni. Even as we saw last year, Domino had such a big impact on this offense. Eagles moving with tempo. Devers snaps the ball, hands it off to Taylor, but he fakes the handoff, and he's on the RPO, and he keeps it up the middle, and he's gone! Devers going to take that one for 70 yards for a touchdown! Great play by Brady Dever. The fake right there worked to perfection. And we'll see the swan celebration there from Dever and the rest of the Eagle offense. Just two plays in, and the Eagles already on the board. RPO action there on that play as Dever had the option to hand it off, throw the ball, or just keep it himself. And it was a great read there to keep as the entire defense was expecting a pass. They were all on their heels. Amanda Montoya is on to kick the extra point. The holder is James Donovan. Kick is up and it is good. The Eagles race out to a 7-0 lead here early in the first quarter with eight and a half minutes to left against the Pioneers. We we'll back after a short break. Yeah. What's for the football team handoff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just missed somebody yelling in the screen. Oh, I'm on three. I'm on three. Do we have a scoreboard? Do we have a scoreboard on the top? No. So we have to keep. Okay. So just keep mentioning it. Okay. On two. Good shots. On two. On two. Good close ups. Good. First time out we see. Let's talk about Eagle Shavaganza next. Ready? 
8.38 here in the first quarter. Your Fort Payne Christian Academy Eagles lead 7-0 over the Iowa Colony Pioneers. If you're just joining us, Eagles forced forced a punt on the Pioneers' first offensive possession. And just after two plays in a 70-yard Brady Dever touchdown run, the Eagles were up just like that. And now Emmanuel Atoya is setting it up to send it deep. Here's the kickoff, and it's going to be booted deep. It's going to be recovered by number three, Anton Martin. And he's going to break up the right side and get up to about the 36-yard line. Big-time tackle there by number 25, Matthew Brown, to save the big return. Matthew Brown played mostly on JV last year, but he's really stepped up. He's been putting in work over the summer, and he's earned his spot as a starting cornerback here on the Eagles defense and we'll see just how he does tonight if the Pioneer offense attacks him at all. Starting along the D-line we have D.N. Jacob Bjornio, nose tackle Jalen Zuber, D-tackle Ivan Jimmy Duxworth and defensive end Max Granville. Out on the island you have Matthew Brown and Kobe Sellers. At linebacker you have Caleb Bratcher, Connor Tallis. In the hybrid roles you have James Donovan and Jordan Rogers. And back deep at free safety we have Ben Longbottom. Great defense here for the Eagles. It appears that we have a penalty from the Pioneers. Blocking the back during the return is going to put them all the way back to about the 10 yard line as Henry is back under shotgun. He rolls out to his, his arm side. He delivers a nice pass. It's going to be dropped there by number five, Landry Ward. Great read there from number 17, Ben Longbottom, in that free safety position. Saw him coming over the top, pursued, and made the tackle, deflected the pass, broke it up. That's going to be second down and 10 for the Pioneers. Pioneers still inside, way deep inside their own territory, as Eagles are playing pretty up close to the line here. It's going to be designed quarterback keeper. He's going to keep it up to the right side. And he's going to get out of bounds for a short gain of about four yards. And that's going to leave us with third down and seven to go. The Pioneers already showing that a lot of their offense is that read option. And their quarterback, Henry, has kept the ball several times. We've seen him throw twice. One complete pass, one incomplete. And the pass that was incomplete was right on the money. That was, that was more of the receiver drop. It was. Good de good read and good defense there from number 17, Ben Longbottom. But nonetheless, still, a lot of the option there from the Pioneer offense. We'll see how the Eagles can adapt to that. Third down and nine here as Henry's back under shotgun. Two receivers to his top, two to his bottom. And there's going to be a flag on the play. And they're going to call a delay of game on the offense. And that's going to back them up even closer to the end zone. And you can just go ahead and scratch off whatever gain Henry had on that last run. The lay of game backs him up inside the 10-yard line of their own territory. So Pioneers now with third and long. Third down and about 14 to go. Henry drops back, and he's going to launch it deep down the sideline, and it's going to be way underthrown, intended for Martin. And that's going to be a three and out forced by the Eagles as the Fort Payne Christian Academy offense is set to come back on the field after a defensive successful stop. And the offense looking to have another quick drive for the Eagles, just like that last one. Just two plays and a touchdown for the Eagles. The Pioneers punting out of their own end zone here. We'll see how far this punt goes. The first punt went about 25 yards and then rolled out of bounds. Sowers is posted right around the 40-yard line as Eagles will get great field position from on this next drive. Eagles go all out for the block but do not get it. This punt's going to die out of bounds just around the 40-yard line. And Eagles offense will trot back out. Look to increase their lead. 8-13 here. So far going in the first quarter, your Eagles lead 7-0.
pretty decent punt there from the Pioneers. That ball went about 45 yards, punting from the back of the end zone. Eagles punt. Defense almost got a hand on it. Almost deflected that. Could have been a touchdown there. No need for the offense, but we'll see the offense come back out here, see what they can do. Working from the 39-yard line. Brady Dever in shotgun as he's going to drop back and look to throw. He's going to throw deep to Brayon Gardoni over the middle, and he's going to stiff arm a defender and go all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. One play and a touchdown there for Braylon Gardoni. Great pass there by Brady Dever right over the middle, and that touchdown will count. Oh, offsetting penalties? A little bit of confusion here from the referees, but I believe that touchdown will count. The Eagle field goal unit on to kick the point after. Just three offensive plays and two touchdowns. Great start here for the Eagle offense. Montoya is back to kick the extra point as Donovan is on the hold. The kick is up and it is good. 14 to 0 is your score here. 8 04 left in the first quarter. Eagles jump out to a quick lead here within the first four minutes of the game. Iowa Colony Pioneers stunned to start the game. We'll be back after a short break. The Eagles are set to send it deep yet again here after another touchdown. So far, the story of the game has been all Fort Bend Christian Academy. As the Eagles' penalty on the last drive will be assessed here on the kickoff. As they're now kicking from the 25-yard line. Montoya sends it deep, and that's going to fall around the 18-yard line. It's going to be caught by Myers. And he's going to bring it up to around the 40-yard line before being tackled by a host of Eagles. Pioneers will take the ball from around the 39-yard line here, deep in their own territory. Best field position starting for the Pioneers. Eagles defense looking strong, however. Not too much resistance from the Pioneer offense. We'll see how it goes. It appears a substitution has been made as Jacob Yorniod not going on the field, but Chiso Ajoku taking that spot at the left defensive end. Henry's back under center for the Eagle, for the Pioneers as he hands it off. And that one's going to skip it right up to the 40-yard line for a gain of about two. And that's going to lead to second down. A Joku who came in for Bjorn out on that left end. Transfer student from Nigeria came in to Fort Bend Christian Academy as a junior last year. Joined the football team. It's actually his first year playing. So we'll see how he does. Great athlete, great build for end. Henry with the handoff to Miles yet again as he gets around the outside. And he's going to push up to about the 43 yard line before he can chase out of bounds. And that's going to leave third and five. Third and relatively short here for the Pioneers. Haven't converted a, a third down here yet this game, so we'll see if the Eagles defense can resist once again. Looking to force another punt here. Still with seven minutes and 20 seconds left to go in this first quarter. The Eagles already with a 14-0 lead. Three receivers line up down the bottom of Henry. 
Here's the snap from Shotgun. He rolls down to the bottom and he looks and he's going to be instantly rushed by Max Grab. He reverses field up to the right side. As he's going to rush out of bounds around the line of scrimmage. It's a flag is thrown on the field. And that flag is definitely going to be on the Pioneers as a lineman back there definitely tried to chop Max Granville down as he chased their quarterback out. The flag is going to be on the Pioneers. Now they will replay third down from much further back. Lengthy penalty there for the Pioneers. Third down and very long to go now. Not a whole lot of plays in the playbook where you prepare for a situation like this. The one time that we've seen the Pioneers try to throw deep, it was widely unsuccessful. We'll see if they attempt to throw deep yet again or if they just try to keep it on the ground. Henry's at, is in shotgun yet again. He drops back. Immediately rushed by Grandway. Is he going to dump it off to the running back? There's already a flag on the field. He'll shake one tackle. He's going to put the ball on the deck. It's going to be recovered by the Pioneers. But the flag is still on the ground. I believe we might have another penalty against the Pioneers in the backfield. We have offsides on the Eagles, and that's going to be a free play for the Pioneers there. That's going to reset the downs to third and 13. Replaying third down for the third time. Ajoku comes off the field as Bjorniel checks back in. Henry drops back and immediately is, a, is rushed by the Eagles as he has nowhere to throw that ball and it's going to be incomplete and short. In coverage was Ben Longbottom and that's going to be another three and out here for the Eagles, the Pioneers. That's two not great passes from Henry when he rolls out to his left, but we see that is his tendency as a left-handed quarterback, but unfortunately for him, He'll be met by number 13, Max Granville, almost every time he tries to do that. Granville has been in his face the majority of the night as Kobe Sellers is back deep to receive the punt. And Henry is back deep to punt for the Pioneers. Snap is high. The punt will be received by Sellers. It's going to be dropped at the 35 yard and He'll pick it back up and he'll return it up the, to the low side. He's going to get up to about the 50-yard line, just crossing into Pioneer territory, being hit out of bounds. There's a flag on the field. There will probably be a block in the back that's going to bring this return back about 10 yards. There was an incredible block on the play by Max Granville there, knocking number 19 for the Pioneers to the ground. We'll see if that penalty will go against Granville. Looks clean from up here, but we'll see if the referees had a different view. Block in the back here on the Eagles. That's going to push them back from the spot of the foul. We'll see how many plays it takes the Eagles this drive to score. Still, if you're just joining us, only three offensive plays for the Eagles and already two touchdowns on the board. So far, Brady is two for two with one touchdown and about 40, 43 yards on the day. About a 40-yard pass to Braylon Gardoni for that touchdown on the last drive. And he also he also has a 70-yard run. Dever in the shotgun yet again. He's looking deep. And he's throwing to Domino on the post. And he's going to catch it. And that's going to be four offensive plays and three touchdowns for the Eagles. And that's going to be another Eagle touchdown. Absolutely incredible throw from Brady Dever to number two, Brian Domino. And I believe... That will not be the first time we see that this season. That also will not be the last time we see that. Dever is spreading the love tonight as he's hooked up with two different receivers now for a touchdown. As Eagles are now up 20 to zero here, just six and a half minutes into the first quarter. Endeavor with three passes, two of those going to Brian Domino, one of them going to Braylon Gardoni. All three complete and currently passing for around 110 yards. 
only six minutes into the game. Some unreal offensive stats so far for the Eagles. The Pioneers have no answer for Devon and the Eagle offense. And we'll see if the Eagles make any substitutions going into the second half. Something we see a lot in the last season specifically. Kobe Sellers were checking at quarterback. Oh, and that extra point's going to be blocked by the Pioneers. As the Eagles score 20 to 0, will remain pat. 6:24 here left in the first quarter. Fort Bend Christian Academy up 20 to 0. We'll be back after a short break. Next time they score, uh, let's run uh, Eagle Extravaganza because there's not there hasn't been many timeouts. Six twenty-four to go here in this first quarter. Eagles are up twenty to zero as Emmanuel Montoya is still out to send it deep. Eagles kickoff team been successful so far. This will be the fourth kickoff here for Montoya in this game. That kickoff will be returned by Miles going up the sideline. Still in bounds, chased out of bounds at around the 45 yard line. Great return there from number two, Jacoby Miles. Pioneer offense comes back on to take the field. Not a whole lot of success so far early on in this game, but that's due to the Eagles defense being so strong. That front with Jalen Zuber and Max Granville bringing a lot of pressure on the quarterback. We'll see if that continues here in this drive. Pioneers offense is back out again. Looking to get a first down here. As they've only gotten one first down here on three drives. Henry is still back in at quarterback for the Pioneers. He's in shotgun and he's gonna hand that one off. That one's gonna get get nowhere as second down's gonna be coming up here. We're about second and twelve. Ivan Jimmy Duxworth with a great tackle there, breaking through the trenches of Iowa Colony to make that play. Miles with absolutely nowhere to go with this defensive front from Fort Bend Christian. Second and long, the ball is on the 41-yard line. Henry is still back in a quarterback with Myers to his left. Three receivers to his right, one to his left. Henry with the snap, he's going to bobble it. It's going to be put on the deck, and the Eagles are going to get it. James Donovan quickly jumps on the on the miss snap, and Caleb Bratcher jumps on the miss snap, excuse me, and that's going to be first and 10 for the Eagles right on the 40-yard line. Great read there from linebacker Caleb Bratcher to read that ball out of the quarterback Henry's hands and onto the ground. Bratcher quick to jump on that ball. Great read there from the linebacker. Eagles offense will take over once again. Four offensive plays and three touchdowns. Let's we'll see if we can make it five offensive plays and four touchdowns here. Dever back on the field once again with his receiving core and his offensive line looking to make something happen. Two receivers to, on the bottom, two receivers up top. Dever's in shotgun. He'll, hand, he'll fake the handoff to Taylor. He'll look deep and he has a wide open receiver. And that's going to be missed by the receiver. Goes in and out of his hands of Sorrell Taylor. And that's going to be the first incompletion on the night for the Eagles. Hard play to make there from Sorrell Taylor. Went over the wrong shoulder. 
Brady Dever with a great pass, just incomplete, wide open Sorrell Taylor on the rail run. Second and ten now for the Eagles. They look put the ball in the end zone like they have so many times tonight already. And off is fake to swung out to Brian Donovan. He's easily gobbled up behind the line. That's going to be lost in two. Very impressive yard on the offense here for the Eagles. Looking at clock running. This has already been the longest offensive drive for the Eagles. We'll see if the Eagles can convert on third down here. Third and long, 12 to go. That's nothing for quarterback number 14, Brady Dever. There's nothing that this, this offense can do. Third and 12. There's a shot coming through. Receiver to the top and Braylon Gardner on the bottom. Dever looks across the middle, and that's going to be nearly picked off by the Pioneers. That pass taken out of the hands of number 13, Mason Brown. That's going to be a three now for the Eagles as they're going to bring on the punter. I almost think Tyler Curry ran the wrong route. was a miss from Brady Dever. No Eagle even in the vicinity. Tyler Curry running a little bit behind. But if that was for Tyler Curry, he would have been wide open and probably in the end zone right there. Cody Miles is deep to receive the punt around the four yard line as Emmanuel Montoya is on to send it away. And this will be the Eagles' first time punting tonight. That one's going to be booted high in the air. That one's going to get some good roll on it. It's going to dribble all the way down inside the 10 yard line to the 5 yard line. What a great punt by Emmanuel Montoya. Montoya has been a great kicker for the Eagles. Coming in as a freshman and starting as the kicker for the Eagles. He's been a big part of the special teams in his three years here. They're going to make an impact here on the season wherever he can. He knows his role and that's a kicker in the punter. Coming up on Friday, September 9th, it's Eagle Extravaganza here at the Athletic Complex. To purchase tickets, go to fortbankchristian.org slash ee. Again, that is fortbankchristian.org slash Eagle Extravaganza. We'll have prizes, parties, food, lots of fun before the Fort Bank Christian Academy's next home game. So make sure to go buy your tickets, show up and show up and support your Eagles. Field once again, looking to stop Iowa's offense. That's going to be handoff to Jacoby Miles. He's going to get up the right side. And he's going to find a hole and he's going to break up near midfield. And he's going to be tackling all the way near midfield around the 40 yard. And that's going to be about a 40 yard gain. A huge play for the Pioneers. Great tackle there from Matthew Brown to chase down Miles. He is a fast running back. He's shifty. He has all the elements of a good running back, just hasn't been able to find much in this game. He broke up the sideline right there for a great game for the Pioneers. Starting back there on five yard line, it was about a 40 yard run. Best play so far tonight for the Pioneers. Henry's still back in quarterback, he's gonna hand it off, he's gonna fake the handoff, and he's gonna be thrown down in the backfield by number 52, Jackson Prang. Jackson Prang with a great sack right there. That's going to be a loss of about five yards for the Pioneers, maybe a second and long. Second and about 17 to go here. Henry's looking to the sideline as the Pioneers are making substitutions here. And the timeout is going to be called by the Pioneers. Timeout by Iowa Colony in the first of the game. Um, it, yeah, it's... Also coming up in the future, the homecoming the on October 21st at the home game against the LSA Pioneers, so make sure all former alumni to come down for homecoming. 
come back to Fort Bend Christian, see your see the Eagles play and get a win against the Pioneers. And that again is on Friday, October 21st, and the next day will be the homecoming dance. So make sure to be in Sugar and to be in town for that event. Eagles are up 20 to 0 here in this first quarter still. What have you liked so far, Jordan? Well, Jackson, I mean, a lot of great things from the Eagles. Obviously, the offense is working. 20 points in the first quarter, that is commendable. Brady Dever throwing the ball well, just a couple incompletions on the day so far. A lot of passing yards, a lot of rushing yards. He's seeing the defense well and reading them very well. Defense, defensively, really liking Max Greenfield. And we're going to take the snap. He'll fake the hand. He'll keep it up the middle. And he's going to get a nice run up to about the 46 yard line before being tackled. And that's going to set up third and short here. The Eagles in need of a stop here with about third down and two to go for the Pioneers. This is their best drive they put together offensively this game. The Eagle defense having a little bit of trouble reading the offense here, but that's something they've been going through all game. Just a little bit of confusion here on this drive. Third short here, a big down. This is one of their first plays in Eagle territory. And he's gonna, he's gonna look to throw, and no one's open. He's gonna run for it. He's gonna be chased out of bounds. There seemed to be a clear miscommunication between him and the receivers. I want to say that maybe that was supposed to be a handoff to number two, Jacoby Miles, but he lost his shoe in the backfield. That play. You saw as the snap was made. Miles slipped a little bit. That forced Henry out of bounds. Loss of one yard on the play. Iowa calling and looking to punt once again. So the back Eagle to receive punt. is number one, Kobe Sellers for the Eagles. As Henry will stay back in the punt. Do it all, man, for the Pioneers. Nice punt that's going to be received around the 15-yard line. Caught by Sellers. He's going to make a return as there's going to be a flag throw on the play. As regardless of this return, this one's going to come back inside the 20. Great run there by Kobe Sellers, but that was a clear block in the back from the Eagles. Block in the back instantly right when Sellers caught it. And will likely post him inside of the 20 yard line. Eagles will set up shop inside their own territory. They went three and out last time, looking to looking to have a better success here. Twenty to zero here for the Eagles. If you're just joining us, two minutes left to go in this first quarter. Great first quarter, and great start to the season for the Eagles as they went up against the Iowa Colony Pioneers coming to this game. Didn't know a whole lot about them. There's not a lot of film on them since it is their first year at school. This is their first game being played. Not a great start for the Pioneers. Here is back with two receivers, two is left, one to one to the bottom beneath him. Then we'll throw down to the low side as Gardonian. That one's going to be instantly corralled up and tackled right around the 12 yard line. That's going to bring it to about third, second and five. A lot of different formations that he is right here on offense. We see a lot of trips left, trips right. With Gardonian and Domino being that low receiver on either side of the ball. Not a lot of use of the running backs in this game. He's not run the ball much so far. Yeah, I believe I've thrown it on just about every down. They've targeted Taylor out of the back, but that was one of Brady's few incompletions on the night. Domino's in motion to the low side. Here's the run to Taylor. As he's going to throw a stiff arm. He's going to get up for a first down past the 20 yard line. To about the 21. That's going to be a nice nine yard gain for Taylor on his first carry. Great run there for the first place. Taylor, like you said. Complete pass that would have been a touchdown to Sorrell Makes up a little bit for it there. Gets a first down for the years. A minute left on the clock. We got a running clock there after the carry from Taylor. Trips left here in formation for the Eagles. With Gray as the ball receiver. 
Iron Shotgun. Fakes the handoff to Taylor. She's going to throw out wide. And Donald Allen's going to miss high. That's going to be incomplete. And he's second and ten now for the Eagles. Bubble screen there to Domino. Incomplete. Threw it a little bit too in front of him. Just a miscommunication between Dever and Domino. They like to get that under control here as Domino will be one of Dever's main targets this year. Second and ten now as Ethan Williams is now in the backfield. He's going to throw on the RPO to Gardone. Now it's going to be dropped. That's going to bring up third and ten now for the Eagles. Would have been a great game there from Gardone if that was a complete pass. Great defense there from the Pioneers. Third and ten now, setting up here for the Eagles. Domino and Gardoni lined up to the right of Dever. With Donovan and Curry lined up to the left. Dever drops back, looks looks low, looking to evade the pressure. He's looking deep, he's just going to throw it up to Domino, and that one's going to be out of bounds. And that's going to be yet yeah, another three and out for the Eagles. They're going to look to punt here. Uncatchable ball there thrown by Brady Dever out of bounds. Intended for Brian Domino, however. Not a great drive from the Eagles offense. Got one first down, good run from Sorrell Taylor, but the pass has been the main utility here for the Eagles offense. Worked in their first two drives. On these previous two drives, not a lot of production from the Eagles offense. We'll see how they adapt, how they go into the second quarter, what changes they'll make to this to receive for the Pioneers. Kobe Myers as Montoya will send that one deep with a nice punt. That's going to be muffed and that's going to be picked up by the Eagles, I believe. And just like that, the Eagles have a nice play there to get them right into Pioneer territory. Humongous hit from Matthew Brown there. Number 25, the senior. He might be small, but he packs a big punch, and that was a absolutely devastating blow from Matthew Brown. The Eagle offense is going to go right back out there. So far, Tyler Curry and James Auburn have not been targets tonight. The favorite target so far of Dever. Number seven, Braylon Gardner. Number two, Brian Domino. And they're running back for the Eagles. Let's go get him! Number 20 to left is Jim Donovan is actually lined up as an inline blocker. He's going to hand that one off to Taylor. Taylor is going to pull forward for about two and a half yards. That's going to leave him about second and like seven. The clock will tick down to the end of the first quarter. A lot of great things from the Eagles, both offensively and defensively. 20 to 0 is your score after the first quarter. We'll be right back. Here, uh, decided to do a slip endeavor. I will hand this one off to, to, to Sorrell. That will get up for about seven yards, and that's going to be enough for a first down. 
Terrell Taylor moving the chains once again for the Eagles. He may not get a lot of handoffs, but he does. He usually gets at least a first down. Devers lined up in the pistol here. Two receivers beneath him. Donovan lined up as a tight end, and Gargioni up top. Hands it off again. Taylor will find a hole up the left side. He'll make a move. And he'll make it up to about the 20 yard line. Great run there for another first down. That's number three, Ethan Williams. And as you know, Jackson, Sorrell Taylor and Ethan Williams will be splitting reps this year. Not a clear starter, not a clear one who's better than the other. Both good at different things. Ethan with a bit of a bigger build, and Sorrell is a better runner than Ethan. But Williams with enough to pick up a first down here for the Eagles. Be a false start call now on the Eagles. On the Eagles. That's going to put them back five yards and put them up at the 25 yard line. We'll see if the Eagles try to go back to the air. The run game has been working, but Eagles with two of their touchdowns in the passing game, and one of them with a, a rush on a read option from Brady Devers. So we'll see if they choose to go back to the air or if they stay on the ground. Devers with several options in the First and 15 here now for the Eagles. Ethan Williams is lined up to his right with two receivers up top to it below him. Fakes the handoff and rolls to his right. And he finds Domino going to the end zone. And that one's going to be in and out of the hands of Domino. That's going to lead for second and 15 now. Great pass there from Brady Dever to Brian Domino. The corner route, the post route, the fade route, anything where Brady Dever can connect with Brian Domino, he's going to look that way. That will definitely be one of his first looks on the pass. Incomplete from Brady Dever to Brian Domino. Though. We'll see if they go back to the ground with second and 15 after the false start. Dever. Under shotgun again with the chips. The two receivers up top and Donovan is an inline blocker as he's going to lead block for Ethan Williams. He's going to reverse this to the left side. He's going to lower his head. He's going to bring that one up to about the 15 yard line for about a 10 yard gain. That'll bring up about third and five yards to go. Great run there from Ethan Williams to get back to the Few of the yards that he was lost from the penalty. Coach Carp is calling plays in for the Eagles. Never has the play call. And the Eagles are looking to convert a first down here. Sorrell Taylor is now subbed in for Ethan Williams, a running back. Dever hands it off to Taylor. He's going to trip up around the 10-yard line. They're going to mark it right around the first down marker. They're going to call it a first down. Great run there from Terrell Taylor. Didn't get a lot of traction there on the turf as he slipped, but did get enough for the first down. Terrell Taylor coming through for his Eagle offense once again. First and goal here for the Eagles. Their first time in the red zone all game. First time with a goal to go opportunity. Nine minutes on the clock here for the Eagles. The are up by 20 points. For Dever lined up in shotgun. Tyler Curry and Donovan are to his left, while Domino and Gargioni are to his right. Dever looks to his right. He's going to fake the throw, take it up the middle. And he's going to stretch it across the end zone. He's going to scramble in for a touchdown. Dever's second rushing touchdown of the game. Obviously, a point of his game that he's worked on over the offseason. Two rushing touchdowns already. Two passing touchdowns from Dever. Great start here for number 14 in the single offense. 26 to 0 as Evander Montoya looks to add the extra point to stretch their lead to 27 points. Last kick was blocked. Long snapper is Taylor Bratcher while the holder is James Donovan. The kick is up. And it is good. 27 to 0 is your score here. As the Eagles, we with nine minutes to go here in the second quarter, we'll be back.
ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce our varsity cheerleading team. The FBCA varsity cheer program is under the direction of head cheer coach. Into the second quarter now. The Eagles lead 27 to 0 on the backs of two rushing touchdowns from Dever and two passing touchdowns, one to Gardoni and one to Domino. Manuel Montoya boosts this one away deep to the Pioneer. It's going to be received around the 10 yard line by the Dakota Myers. He's going to get up for another nice return to around the 31 yard line. The flag will fly in. Two flags fly in after the tackle was made by the Eagles. Let's see what the call is from the referee. As we await the call from the officials so far on defense, what have you liked so far from the Eagles? Obviously, Jackson, we got to look at the defensive line when we're looking at what we like on this defensive side. We got Max Granville, sophomore, great player. Ivan Jimmy Duxler, junior, absolute beast on the front line. Jalen Zuber, unstoppable. Jacob Yarnio, and also Chiso Ajoku on that left defensive end spot. Both great players. And when we look at the defensive backs, we got Matthew Brown and Kobe Sutter. Both have been putting in work this offseason. They've both gotten increasingly better. Their weapons on the outside. The linebackers, Caleb Bratcher, Connor Tallis. Connor Tallis is a transfer from George Ranch. He's been a great player here for the Eagles so far. And as well as Caleb Bratcher moving into that linebacker position this season after Grant Harrison and Brian Grudge both graduated. Bratcher already with a great start and a fumble recovery this game. Lining up here at the 47 yard line. Henry in the quarterback, Cody Myers to his left. We have a stoppage of play here that means there's some miscommunication between the officials. The theme for tonight's game for among the students is Hawaiian theme as you see many players and students sporting their best Hawaiian and Luau theme clothes. There's going to be a personal foul face mask assessed on the kick. That's going to move the ball up a couple, quite a few yards. And that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 38 yard line from the 38-yard line of the Eagles. Why did you say Max get the yeah. Henry, quarterback, which Kobe Myers now on his right. Two receivers to the top, two receivers to the bottom as Myers shifts motions out to the left. Henry looks his way. He's going to get in and out of the hands of number five, Landrew Ward, as Jacoby Myers is wide open, just reaching up the sideline. Pass broken up by Jordan Rogers, a transfer student from IMG Academy. Great player. He'll be a great part of this Eagle defense as he's in a bit of that hybrid spur position that the Eagles utilize on defense. Him and James Donovan playing a similar, similar role. Both leaders for this Eagle defense. Just It seems like the Eagle defense already has all the pieces together and we're oh, just in the first less. game. I'm so sorry. Right from the quick little bubble screen out to the left side, and that's going to be caught by number three, Antoine Martin. He's going to he's going to scamper out of bounds for about eight yards. That's going to set up the third down short. The Eagles still not allowing any points here in this first half. Eight minutes to go in the second quarter. Eagle defense looking to make another stop here. It's third down and short for the Pioneers. Paul Henry and a quarterback with Jacoby Myers to his right. And he hands it off to Myers. As Myers shoots up the gap for the to the middle, and that's going to be good for a first down as the pile is still being pushed forward. And what a great effort by the Pioneer offensive line, and that's going to move the chains. Great play there from the Pioneer offensive line. That's really the first battle they've won. They've this game. The Eagle defensive line has been okay. all over the Pioneer offensive line so far this game. Paul Henry and a quarterback with Jacoby Myers to his left. So you see this to 
him up top. As he looks to the up top, he's going to find Antoine Martin. That's going to be incomplete. He's going to be brought gonna be down. Pass broken up by Matthew Brown on the right side of the field. Great read there from Brown. They're going to call roughing the passer here on the Eagles. That's going to be an automatic first down for the Pioneers as they inch closer to the red zone. About 45 yards that the Eagles have given the Pioneers here this drive as we had two personal fouls on the kickoff that we can love 30 yards and then another personal foul there. This penalty will spot them inside the red zone. Up around the 11 yard line. As this, as this drive has been gift wrapped by the Eagle defense due to penalties. First and 10 here from the 11 for the Pioneers. Henry looks, looks across the middle. That was going to be complete. To number six, Nolan Haygood for a gain of about nine down to the one yard line. And that's going to set up first and goal. Pioneers looking to get their first points on the board here in this game. First and goal from around the one yard line. Expecting the Pioneers to go on the ground here just to get the ball in the end zone. And then with a quarterback keeper to the left side. And he's going to be blown up by number 21, Jordan Rogers. And that's going to be a second down here. Rogers with a great defensive play there, preventing Henry from getting in the end zone. That's going to be a loss of yardage on the down. Rogers with a really good read on that play, preventing the touchdown. Eagle defense still looking to make a stand here, prevent the Pioneers from getting his points on the board, keep the shutout in play. Slight loss on the play there. It's now second and goal here for the Pioneers. Oh, Henry hands it off here. Jacoby Meyer, he's going to break around the right side and get in for a touchdown. Ball was fumbled on the play after a big hit from the Eagle defense. But they're going to say that he crossed the plane before that ball was fumbled. That'll be a touchdown for Iowa Colony. First score there for the Pioneers. The score is now 27 to 6 here in the second quarter. And the kick for the Pioneers. Number 29, Steven Rivera. Number 31, Steven Rivera, excuse me. That's going to be up and good. 27 to 7 is now the score. Little Four Bank Christian Academy Eagles still lead 27 to 7. We'll be back after a short break. to kick it away for the Pioneers. The referees will now stop play for a moment as they look to make a substitution as Shiso will come off the field. As he's now going to run back out on the field. Two. I'm on two. Now there's a clear confusion between 
Chiso and the coaches. As the, without Chiso, the Eagles would have had 10 players on the field. And he was way out of position when the ball was kicked. But anyhow, the Eagles will set up shop. Around the 30-yard line. A little bit of miscommunication there from the referees as well. As there were some whistles blowing that I believe motioned Chiso off the field. Number 44 jogged off and instantly got some feedback from the coaches there. A little bit of a miscommunication, but nonetheless, ball rolled out of bounds, setting the Eagles up around the 25-yard line. Brand new head down for the Eagles here. Last time they had the ball, they had a nice touchdown score as Brady Dever scrambled it into the end zone for six. And now... Eagles are backing it off. It's high snap. It's going to be a toss out to Ethan Williams on the left side. There's, he's going to break it up to the left side. He's going to get all the way up to about the 40-yard line for a 13-yard gain. Hard run there from Ethan Williams as he got the pitch from Dever and hightailed it down the sideline. Great tackle there from the Pioneers to stop the momentum of Williams. Still a great gain and a first down here for the Eagles. Dever back in shotgun with Williams to his left. Two, two receivers up top, two beneath him. Dever looks up top, loads up. He's going to throw a deep one out to Gardardoni. It's going to be way overthrown. And that's going to bring up second and ten. Dever with a lot of power on that throw, a lot of arc. Just couldn't find Gardoni deep. Struggling with the passing game in this second quarter and late in the first quarter here is the Eagles utilizing the run game a lot. Eagles looking to make a statement here, getting back on the board, looking to make it 35-7, to take a commanding lead over the Pioneers here in this second quarter. Dominant motions to the, to the low side, and there's going to be a flag on the play for a false start. And there Eagles, the back. Eagles up little. five yards, gonna and that's going to bring it to second and 15. Eagles offense looking a little flustered here late in this first half. A couple penalties that have cost them a couple yards. Eagles looking to turn it around here, get some points back on the board. Second and 15 now for the Eagles here. As Gardoni will be the lone receiver up top. Domino will be lined up as an inside inside blocker. Motion Domino in as, as Taylor gets the handoff. Excuse me, Ethan Williams gets the handoff. He's going to scurry up to about the 48 yard, 49 yard line. And that's going to set up third and short here for the Eagles. Great run there from Ethan Williams. He gets about 10 yards every time he runs the ball as well, just like Sorrell Taylor. Both very consistent backs in the backfield. Both are going to be utilized by the Eagle offense very much this year, especially in a time like this when the pass game isn't really working. Just like that, Sorrell Taylor checks back into the game. Dever hands it off to Taylor up the middle, and he'll get the first down and more as he'll get up to about the 46-yard line, 44-yard line, and that's going to be a nice first down for the Eagles. Great run by Taylor. Eagle offensive line not getting a lot of attention right now, but they are making the offense happen right now as the Eagles have been looking to the run game. Eagles using a little bit of tempo here. As Dever looks a quick screen pass out trying to find Curry, and that's going to be way overthrown. That's going to leave it up to second and ten. Nothing Tyler Curry could have done there to catch that ball. That ball was, it was not a good pass, not accurate in the least. Eagles still struggling with the pass game. Probably going to go back to the run here as the Pioneers had a bit of a problem stopping the run game. Dever in shotgun, fake the handoff to Taylor. He's going to throw it out to Domino. And if he makes the catch, that's going to be a loss of about four yards. That's going to bring up third and 13 now. For the Eagles. Still struggling with the passing game here is Brady Dever, not connecting with his targets. Had a great first quarter passing the ball, but 
struggling a bit here in the second quarter. Five minutes to go. We'll see if Dever can turn it around. Dever in shotgun again. Two receivers beneath him, two up top. Taylor's the running back. It's a fake to toss. Throw it out to Curry on the screen. As he's going to get hit around the 40 yard line, not get much further. And that's going to be about an eight, nine yard gain. And that's going to leave the Eagles short of a first down. But this is definitely go for it territory inside the opponent's 40. But they're going to opt to punt here and pin the Pioneers deep in their own territory. Coach Carp has a few tricks up his sleeve. We'll see if maybe the Eagles look to fake here. Definitely territory to do so. Fourth and eight here for the Eagles. And around that island and about the 39 yard line. Montoya in the kick. Jacoby Myers back deep to receive the punt. He's gonna boom that one way out the back of the end zone. As Tyler Curry is gonna run into the punt man and that's gonna allow a penalty that's an unforced error the Eagles did not need. That ball rolled into the end zone for a touchback. Tyler Curry ran into the punt man, but the punt man did sort of force himself into Tyler Curry in the same light. But that penalty will go against Curry. Putting the Pioneers in better position than they should be to start this drive. Twenty-seven to seven is the score here in the second quarter. The personal foul is going to be called on the Eagles, and that's going to move the ball up all the way to about the thirty-five yard line. It's going to set up great field position for the Pioneers. First and 10 now here for the Pioneers as Henry, who's in a quarterback with Jacoby Myers to his left. He'll hand it off to Myers to the low side. He's gonna get up the sideline and he's gonna get out of bounds extremely hard by Ethan Williams. That's gonna be a nice gain right near the first down marker, but a flag is set down on the play. Great play there by number three, Ethan Williams. That was a devastating blow out of bounds. It looks like this one's coming back. As they're gonna call a hold on the offense. And that one's gonna set up first and 20 now for the Pioneers back at their 25. Big break here for the Eagles. That was gonna be a good game for the Pioneers. Great play there from Ethan Williams to stop the momentum. Pioneer offense. Helping us out a little bit, the holding penalty. So the two penalties will essentially offset as their Pioneers are back down at the 25 yard line. Henry will hand off to Myers. He'll try to get it to the outside. He'll cut back upfield, but gets stonewalled right back at the 25 for a gain of nothing. And that'll bring up second and 20. Second and long here for the Pioneers. We'll see what they look to do. Not a whole lot of big games this game for the Pioneers. Been a lot of help from the Eagle defense and the Eagle special teams to give them some yardage, but we'll see what they look to here to, to try to get some of these yards back. Max Granville and Connor Tallis right on that tackle there. Who, me? Second and 20 from the 25 yard line yeah. for the Pioneers. As Granville moves over to the other side and motions Bjorn yell down to the bottom. Henry looks up top, but that ball's going to be bad out of his hands. It's going to be picked up by the Eagles as he's going to be tackled around the five-yard line. But what a defensive play by Max Granville to hit that ball out of, the, out of the quarterback's hands. Great pressure there from number 13, Max Granville. A little switch right before the play from Granville and Bjornjold. Quarterback did not see it coming. That'll be a fumble caused by Max Granville. That's going to be one of many this year. Setting the Eagle offense up spectacularly at the five yard line. Just like that, the Eagles are in striking distance as Jacob Bjornia almost brought that in for a touchdown. Coach Carp out on the field to give the call for this play. Eagles looking to score 
on first down here, first and goal within the 10 yard line for the Eagles. A beautiful sunset tonight here in Sugarland. As Deborah will hand the ball up to Taylor up the middle, and that's going to be an Eagle touchdown. Sorrell Taylor's first rushing touchdown of the season. Great play here from Sorrell Taylor. Finds the hole and hits it hard. Sorrell Taylor with his first touchdown for the Eagles. Great play Eagles, there as well Eagles from the Eagles. line up for the extra point here. As Connor Tallis rushes on the field to get ready for the extra point team coverage. Montoya in on the kick with Donovan on the hold. The kick is up and it is good. 34 to seven is now your score with just under three minutes to go here in the in the second quarter. You're watching FBC. You're watching Eagles on the air on FBCA TV. There are your varsity Fort Bend Christian cheerleaders. As we have one of our largest cheer teams that we've had in recent memory here at Fort Bend. Because they've been leading all the chants tonight for the Eagles. Montoya in the booted away for the Eagles. Cody Miles and Anton Martin. Back deep to receive the kick as Jacoby Miles will receive it as he'll try to look to break it up down the down the low side. He's going to be cut sticked with a great tackle by Matthew Brown, and that's going to put him right around the 20-yard line with a great stop. So Matthew Brown came to play tonight. Number 25 has delivered several devastating hits. A lot of power coming from Matthew Brown as he's gotten a lot stronger. Running track last season as well, breaking several records here at FBCA. One of the fastest players on the team. Him and Kobe Sellers both. <laughs> They're lined up in the island at cornerback. Both of them, two of the 100 runners here at FBCA. And they're fast. They're agile and they're good at what they do. And at running back here for the Pioneers is number 22, Joseph Mosley. As he, the quarterback will keep it, but he'll be immediately stuffed by Max Granville in the back. He was nowhere to go. Huge sack there by Granville. Granville having an incredible second quarter here as he has made his presence known to this Pioneer offense. Getting in the backfield almost every play. It appears the Pioneers will take a timeout, and we'll take a timeout with them. We'll be right back. Back here, two and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Second and 16 after a great tackle for loss by Max Granville. 
That one's going to be handed off to Myers, and that one's going to get absolutely nowhere. That's going to be a great tackle there in the backfield. That's going to set up third and long for the Pioneers. Ivan Jimmy Duxworth getting in on the action here. Gets a stop in the backfield. Third and 16 for the Pioneers. I believe that may be a little bit longer. Eagle defense has been all over the place on this drive. And we're going to have another timeout here. So we'll be right back. There you just saw our camera, our cameraman for tonight, Gracie Peschel and Lacey McGrady, as they've been running the camera. And also on that shot was Nick White on the sideline camera. Really appreciate their work here tonight, along with Mr. Williams and Mr. Lee helping out with running and switching and directing this broadcast. Just helping us do what we love, Jack. Couldn't do it without them. Third down, 17 here as the Pioneers are probably going to be looking to throw here. And it's going to be a quarterback draw by, by Henry, and that's going to get nowhere. And that's going to lead up to fourth down. Punt team definitely going to come out here for Iowa Colony. Fourth down and very long to go. It'll be about fourth and 17 for Iowa Colony. Punt return back out. For the Eagles, Kobe Sellers back to return. He'll line up at around 45-yard line, right in the middle of the FB logo. Back deep to receive is number one, Kobe Sellers. That's Coleman Henry is on the punt. He's going to boot that one away. And Sellers will not take a fair catch, and he'll look to return. He'll break through the initial line of defense, and Sellers is breaking down the sideline, and he's going to get in. And return that one for a touchdown. What a play by Kobe Sellers on a 50-yard punt return for a touchdown. Like we were just talking about, Kobe Sellers, one of the fastest and most agile guys on this team. And that is why the coaches chose him to be the punt and kick returner for this team. You can see it right there. Incredible play there from Kobe Sellers. Number one, already making an impact here on special teams for FBCA. Sophomore cornerback and kick returner is flat out electric. And when he's not doing that, he's also the backup quarterback. So if once Devers night is done, we may see Sellers come in and take a couple drives. Montoya is on to kick this one for the extra point. Bennett Warren rushing back out there on, on kick coverage. That one's going to be up and good for Montoya. 41 to seven is your lead now for the Eagles over the Iowa Colony Pioneers. Also just a reminder coming up on September 9th, Eagle Extravaganza. Just before the game, the Eagles will have at the Athletic Complex tons of food and games and a whole party going on. So make sure to attend that from five to seven at the Athletic Complex to purchase tickets Go to fortbendchristian.org slash ee. Again, that is fortbendchristian.org slash ee. And also, in about two months, homecoming, Friday, October 21st. Make sure to come in town for that. Come support your Eagles as they take on the LSA Pioneers in their homecoming game. Going to be a great district matchup that will probably decide the district championship. So make sure to come out Friday, October 21st for a big-time game and a lot of fun. Homecoming. Back deep to kick. Emmanuel Montoya and back deep to receive is Jacoby Myers. Emmanuel Montoya set to kick off. 
Montoya boosts this one away, and this one's going to be a nice kick around the five-yard line. That one's going to be brought up to the left side with a nice spin move. That's going to get him up past the 30-yard line, up around the 33 before he's tackled. Great return there from the Pioneers to get them solid field position around the 33-yard line. They'll set up shop about midway in their own territory. I believe that was Gidry, Greg Gidry on the return, number nine. We'll see what adjustments that the Iowa Colony offense has made to see if they can take over this Eagle defense. Not a whole lot of leeway, not a whole lot of resistance here. Eagle defense has been pretty spot on so far this game. Just under two minutes to go here in this second quarter. Henry back in a quarterback as he's going to pass it out to the left side. And that one's going to be tipped by Granville, but it's actually going to be a backwards pass. So it's a fumble, but it's going to be picked up by Myers. He's going to send it all the way up to close to a first down. What seemed to be a broken play turned into a 10-yard gain. What a play by Jacoby Myers. Really good heads-up play there by Jacoby Myers. Not just playing to the whistle. Block there from Max Granville on the rush as well. First down and 10 now for the Pioneers. As Kamal Henry take the snap out of shotgun. He'll do a quarterback draw to the left side. There's going to be a flag on the play. He's going to be tackled in the backfield for a loss by James Donovan and Jacob Bjorn yelled. We're going to have some holding on the Pioneers, though. Any gain they just had will come back. It'll be about first down and 20 for the Pioneers with 42 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. 41 to 7 here with just 42 seconds left here in this first half as the clock is ticking. A really good start here for the Eagles. Up by about 34 points here and in this first half. It looks like they're going to just run one more play here to close out the half as Jacody Miles will get up for a gain of just about one. And that'll probably be the last play of the half. Jackson Prang there in on the tackle. As that will close out the half. 41 to 7. Your Eagles leader of the Iowa Colony Pioneers. We'll be back after halftime.
And now, prepare to be entertained with an exciting jazz routine to party rock anthem performed by the amazing Iowa Colony Pioneer Band.
Turn it back on. We're going to prep. Get it on. We are back here for second half action of Fort Bend Christian Academy versus Iowa Colony. Your score is 41-7. to The Eagles lead the Pioneers here as Eagles raced out to a huge lead over the Pioneers. And they've had little to no answer so far for Brady Dever in the offense. Derek Jordan is my colleague here tonight. What have you seen so far from the Eagle offense that you really, really like, and what would you want to see them improve on in the second half? What I'm really liking that I wasn't sure I was going to like coming into this game is I'm really liking the run game. Offensive line looks strong. Both main backs, Ethan Williams and Sherell Taylor, look really good. And the blocking all around on the offense has been incredible, both on the pass game and in the run game. Just a lot of great things from the offense. Really a good all-around offense. Got 
pass weapons. Brian Dominoes look good tonight. Braylon Gardonis look good tonight. Brady Devers look good tonight. However, the pass has not really been on in this first half. It was really good in the early parts of the first quarter. Took a step back in that second quarter. Didn't get a lot of production with the pass game. But the run game stepped up, and that's how the Eagles have put 41 points up on the scoreboard in this first half. And so now the Eagle defense has been just as stout, only allowing seven points through the first half. What have you liked so far from the Eagle defense, and what do you want to see them improve on? Well, we've talked about a lot of things we've liked from the defense, and with the defense, it's really easy to point out the main points. Max Granville, Jalen Zuber, and Jordan Rogers. But that's something I really want to highlight right here is the spur, the hybrid Jordan Rodgers. He's been all over the place this game. Him and Matthew Brown have combined for several tackles, and they both hit so incredibly hard. You do not want to get tackled by them because they pack a punch. But I think a great thing that we need to talk about is Kobe Sellers. Kobe Sellers is an all-around player. He plays quarterback. He plays cornerback. And he's the kick and the punt returner. He's just a great athlete, a great player here for the Eagles, and he's going to be a great part of this team. First half is in the books. Second half is about to be underway shortly. And just a reminder, folks, the Eagles are up 41-7. to They're up by about 34 points. If the Eagles get up by more than 40, there will be a running clock for the game. So thing to monitor as Eagles will receive the ball here to start the second half. As we have a nice shot at the Eagles sideline and the Eagle offensive line along with skilled player wide receiver Brian Domino passing by. And there's art teacher Mr. Sanders in the shot as well. Eagles kick return already lining up. Pioneer kickoff, not quite out yet. Looking to line up very soon. Halftime has ended. And here come the Pioneers. Getting set to kick off. Start this second half. A quick score here from the Eagles does put us in a running clock, which means the clock will not stop. Pioneers are ready to boot it away here to begin the second half. Number 38, Isaiah Rodriguez on the kick. That's going to be fielded by number one, Kobe Sellers. He's going to break up the field. And he's going to break to the left side, and nobody's going to catch him. A kickoff return touchdown and a punt return touchdown in the same game for Kobe Sellers. There's no stopping him tonight. And just as we were just talking about, Kobe Sellers, such an incredible athlete. Number one right there, so fast up the field, so agile, so shifty. That was a great return from number one, Kobe Sellers. And that will put the game in the running clock just as the second half gets underway. What a kick return by Kobe Sellers. Punt return, and now the kick return. That's a great shot of Kobe Sellers on the sideline. As he's amped after that play. What a great play, great blocking, no flags. The bigger thing to recognize, no block in the back. When you see a lot of time with big kick returns, there's always blocks in the back. As there's going to be a flag there. Flag will be offsides on Iowa Colony. Kick will stand 48 to 7 here in this second half. Running clock has started. Eagles will look to kick off to the Pioneers. As long as the Eagles stay up by more than 40, by 40 plus points, that clock will stay running. So we're in, we're in store for a much shorter second half if this holds up. Eagles are up by 41 here on Iowa Colony's debut game. Keep in mind, something to take note of, Iowa Colony scrimmage Second Baptist last week and absolutely destroyed Second Baptist. Very Second interesting. Baptist is usually the main competition for the Eagles in their district. 
And as we're seeing the exact opposite, the Eagles are manhandling the Pioneers tonight. Well, Second Baptist did graduate a few seniors, still with a strong team. New head coach, former college football coach, Tony Levine is the new head coach, taking the spot of Terry Pirtle at Second Baptist. We'll see what they can do over there. They have their first game tonight. We'll update you on that later on in the broadcast. But as you said, main competitor for the Eagles, probably fighting for the district championship once again. That one's going to be into the end zone, but he caught the ball outside of the end zone. He's going to have to return it, and he's going to get absolutely nowhere. Poor decision to catch that ball, and he's going to be tackled around the 15-yard line. And in There's other high school football news, today Ridge Point is taking on Austin Westlake. That score is currently 21 to 14 with one minute left to go in the second quarter. Ridge Point keeping it close with the former state champions. Westlake up by seven there in a big matchup. Westlake experiencing their first first game with that five-star quarterback, Kay Klubnik. Also graduating a, a few seniors from Westlake's side. Ridge Point losing quarterback Burt Emanuel Jr. Three-star headed off to play college football. But back to Fort Bend Christian Academy. Up by 41 right now. Very promising start for this season. Looks like there's a personal foul on the kick by the Eagles. and That's going to boot the Pioneers up to the 30-yard line. And they'll set up shop in good field position. Kamal Henry in at quarterback as he hands it to Jacody Miles. And he's going to get stonewalled for about two yards here. Great defensive play by the line. Very short gain there from Miles. Stopped immediately by James Donovan. For a very short gain. Great stop there from the Eagles. James Donovan coming in to make that tackle from the hybrid role for the Eagles. He plays both ways for the Eagles. He's been a great player and made some amazing plays on both sides of the ball. And many will remember his three interception game against Second Baptist here at home back in November of last year to seal the district championship. As Henry will hand that off and Donovan misses the tackle and Miles will reverse field, but he'll get nowhere as he'll be tackled for a big loss of about seven yards there. And that's gonna set up third and 15 now. Still incredible pressure in the backfield from James Donovan. And just to highlight him for a second, we'll look at his progression over his four years in high school. As a freshman, he came in and started as a wide receiver. In his sophomore year, he moved over to that defensive role, playing that both linebacker and free safety hybrid spot. And then junior year, last year, he played almost all defense, almost got no reps on offense. And this year, playing both ways once again. Uh, notable coaching change, Julian Jean Baptiste has moved on and taken a, a coaching position at McMurray up in Abilene. He's no longer with the team. And there's now a timeout called on the field by the Pioneers. And we'll take a short break. Eagles are up 48-7. Back here, third and 15 here for Kamal Henry as he's immediately pressured and that ball is going to be tipped at the line by Granville. And that's going to be an incomplete pass. That's going to bring up fourth and 15 now with a three and out stop by the Eagle defense. Punt team coming back on for Iowa Colony. And you know what that means. That means Kobe Sellers back to return the kick once again already with two touchdowns. One coming from a punt return and one coming from a kick return tonight. Sellers has a fourth of the points tonight for the Eagles. 
I would think it'd be wise if the punter probably kicked away from Sellers here. As he does. As that one's going to die around midfield, not even make it to Sellers. And that's going to only result in about a 20-yard kick. And that's going to set the Eagles in pioneer territory at the 45-yard line. A reminder, folks, coming up on September 9th is Eagle Extravaganza. There's going to be lots of food and games. It's going to be prizes. It's going to be a great time. Friday, September 9th, 5 to 7, in front of the athletic complex right by the field. So make sure to come out, support FBCA, and support the football team. That'll be at the athletic complex. To purchase tickets, go to fortbankchristian.org slash ee. Again, that is fortbankchristian.org slash ee. The offense is back on the field as Domino motions down below. Dever will hand it off to Sorrell Taylor. He's going to make a huge hole up the middle. He's going to scamper up for about eight yards. And that's going to leave it to about second and two now for the Eagles after a great run. That's another great run from number 20, Sorrell Taylor. Been a very consistent back, averaging about eight yards a carry this game. Dever in the pistol now with Sorrell Taylor behind him, and he'll hand it off to Taylor as Taylor will try to bounce it outside, but he is gobbled up behind the line by number 92, Chris Johnson. Loss of yards on the play there from Sorrell Taylor. That'll be his first negative carry this game. Ethan Williams will come in to take his spot. The two running backs for the Eagles this year, Ethan Williams and Sorrell Taylor, really interchangeable. Not one that stands out above the other. Really good things from both of them this game. Dever in the pistol again. And he'll hand it off to Williams to the left side and he'll push forward. And he'll be tackled right around the first down marker. And they're gonna call it a first down. Ethan Williams seems to be a bit shaken up on the carry. That's never something you want to see. He is down on the play, holding his left ankle. Trainer Danielle Kaiser will come out to take a look at him. We'll pause for a brief injury timeout. We're back here, and it is, they're going to call that last run by Williams a first down, and they'll move the chains as Sorrell Taylor comes back in for Williams. Dever in the shotgun. We'll fake the handoff. We'll swing it out to Brian Domino. As he'll look to pick up steam on the edge, and he'll pick up about six yards there. Now bring it to second and four now. Great play there from Dever to Domino. That's their first connection this quarter. Domino really can make things happen on the outside. When he gets to the sideline, he often breaks up the field and scores. Hand off to Taylor. And that's going to be up for about, about two yards, and that's going to bring up to third down in about a yard. Good run there from Taylor to try to get the first down. Third and very short for the Eagles. Probably looking to the ground once again to get this first down. We'll see if they go back to that read option there with Brady. Worked a few times. Brady has two touchdowns on it today. Poor Ben line back up in the pistol here. Common running. And he's going to throw a play action. Let's go down. He's open over the top. And it's going to be incomplete. Gargioni was open over the top of the defense, but can't come down with the catch. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Incredible opportunity there from the Eagles. That was a great ball from Brady Dever right over the shoulder of Braylon Gardoni, but great coverage there from the Pioneer defense. Eagles elect to kick the field goal here from the 27. 
This will be about a 44-yard kick here. Montoya, a reliable kicker here for the Eagles. He is six for seven tonight on extra points. One of them being blocked. That'll be the one he missed. Pioneers putting a man back. Jacoby Miles to see if Montoya will not have enough leg. But Montoya clearly has enough leg. And that splits the upright. 51 to 7 after a 44 yard kick by Montoya. Great kick there. The Eagles are up 51 to 7 here as the third quarter starts to come to a close. We'll be back after a short break. One to seven here. With just a couple seconds left here. This kick will probably end the third quarter. Montoya is set to kick it away. As he boosts this one away. And it'll fall down around the 10 yard line. As that one's going to be hit up by Greg Gidry. He's going to be tackled around the 13 yard line. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Fort Bend is up 51 to seven here, leading the Iowa County Pioneers in their first ever game. We'll take a short break as we transition to the fourth quarter. When we come back, play the email right when we come back. Eagles fans, if you would like to be a supporter and a sponsor for this Eagles on the Year broadcast program, please send an email to johnwilliams at fortbendchristian.org. Once again, that is johnwilliams at fortbendchristian.org. And we have, we're going to have a poll here, so check into our Eagles on the Air Instagram page to win a Chick-fil-A gift card. As at the end of this broadcast, we'll announce a player of the game, so stay tuned on this broadcast for a chance to win a Chick-fil-A gift card. That'll be a tough decision to make, Jack, and there's just been so many players for the Eagles today on both sides of the ball who have really stood out. Gonna be a tough decision. Who deserves the title of player of the game? Henry's back to take the snap. Oh, and that snap is fumbled. Granville looking to get the ball. Rolled around for a little bit. And it looks like the Pioneers got it back. Granville looks for the scoop and score. Mike should have just fallen on it and taken the possession. But that snap was fumbled. A great read there from Max Granville. That's going to be a loss of several yards. It's going to be third and very long. Pioneers back up deep into their own territory. And they're just looking to avoid a safety and avoid trouble. I imagine they'll keep the ball on the ground here.
Third and about 13 here for the Pioneers. A little bit of discussion between the referee and the coach for the Pioneers. We will have a poll going up very soon on the Eagles on the Air Instagram. Make sure you enter your response for who we chose as player of the game. We will mention who that player of the game is at the end of the game, so make sure to stay tuned. And once we mention it, go over to our Instagram page at Eagles on the Air and enter in the answer for a chance to win a Chick-fil-A gift card. Big time prize there. Winners will be selected on Monday. Third and 13 now for the Pioneers on the three yard line as the referees are still discussing with head coach Raymond Garza on the last play. And meanwhile, while this discussion has happened, keep in mind the clock is running. So we have about eight and a half minutes left on the clock. Third down, what seems to be forever, as they'll just hand it off, try to get out of their own end zone, and they will not, they will barely get out of their own end zone up to the one yard line to avoid a safety. And they'll bring up fourth down. Barely kept themselves out of the end zone. They're gonna be at the one, inside the one yard line, looking to punt the ball away here. They'll be punting from the very back of their own end zone. Two number one, Kobe Sellers, a clear threat. Just about eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Your Eagles lead 51 to seven over the Pioneers. As we get a nice look there at the Fort Bend Christian Band. As they've been performing and pumping out great tunes all night. Getting the fans riled up as the Pioneers are punting from deep within their own end zone with not much breathing room. going to be just a they're going to punt it away from Sellers and it's actually going to take a nice roll all the way past the 50 yard line down to the 45 and that'll end up going down as a 55 yard punt with the roll what a punt more than 55 yards Jackson he was punting from the very back of the end zone that was an incredible punt Just seven minutes to go here as this will likely be the last time you'll see the Eagle offense this weekend. And keep in mind, next weekend, the broadcast is going on the road. We're going up to Dallas as Fort Bend will take on Dallas Christian in Dallas. So make sure to tune in next weekend on Saturday, on Friday, excuse me, at 7 p.m. on September 1st as Fort Bend takes on Dallas Christian in a huge rematch of last year's game here. Taylor runs the ball here to the wide side. He's going to break up the middle. He's going to get a first down with a nice gain of about 13 yards there. And that's going to be a first down. Just six minutes to go here. With the ball on the 44-yard line. TJ Smith there on the tackle. Excuse me, TJ Smith was in there on the run. As he'll get the handoff again. And that'll be another nice gain there. TJ Smith coming into the game for the first time tonight. Already making his presence known. That's two first downs on two carries. Great start here for number 24. T.J. Smith is a sophomore here at Fort Bend, getting his first action of the night at running back. Second down and about a yard to go here as T.J. Smith will bounce it outside. And he'll have another nice run there as a flag flies in, which will likely be for a hold. And that run will come back, holding against the Eagles. Great run there from T.J. Smith. If there's one negative from tonight that Coach Black and the Eagles will take away is there have been a lot of penalties on their side. Number 
15, Jack Wadlington getting in on the action. He'll line up as a receiver for the offense here. Brady Devers still in a quarterback, and he's in shotgun with T.J. Smith to his left. Almost an entirely new receiving unit in here. 4-4 bend as T.J. Smith will get the handoff, and he'll bounce it out to the right side, and he'll get up right around the first down marker there, and they'll call it a first down. 11-yard gain there for Smith on the run. As we cross under just four minutes here left in this game. TJ Smith with another great run there for the Eagles. He's already playing to the tier of Sorrell Taylor and Ethan Williams. He'll be a great weapon to have to add to the running back room of this Fort Bend Christian offense. Some great runs here from Smith so far. Three and a half minutes left here in this game. Eagles lead 51 to seven. Dever in the shotgun. He'll hand it off again to Smith. And Smith will bounce around the hole. And he'll get up for about six, seven yards there. And that'll bring it to second and about four. Clearly the Eagles just trying to chew some clock here to end the game. Three minutes left with a running clock. Eagles just keeping the ball on the ground, not trying to do too much in the air. Three minutes left here in this half. And the Eagles are three minutes away, picking up their first win on the 2022-2023 season. Smith with the handoff up the right side as he gets upended by a defender around the 22-yard line. And that's going to be enough for a first down. TJ Smith has really been the only one with offensive production on this drive as he has brought the ball all the way from the long punt to the 23-yard line, 22-yard line where they are currently at right now. As the clock winds down, it's probable that we'll see some more running from T.J. Smith on this play. T.J. Smith with the run here yet again as he's pinballing off defenders. And he'll get up to just about the 15 yard line. Another great run there from T.J. Smith, really just moving the Eagles up, moving the chains near the end zone now too. The first unit offensive line is still out there and running. They're blocking very well tonight as they have been an incredible part of this Eagles offense. Blocking for Sorrell Taylor, Ethan Williams, and now TJ Smith, allowing them each to have several uh, double digit runs. A big key stat, no sacks on the night for the Eagles. So great pass protection and run, pro and run blocking. That's all to tribute to head coach and offensive line coach Jordan Black. And to add on and to no sacks tonight, really hasn't been that much pressure. Brady hasn't had to escape the pocket too much. He has chose to a few, a few times just via play design. But as the Eagles line up in victory formation here, Eagles will take the victory, 51 to seven here in the home opener and the season opener for this 2022-2023 season. Dever will kneel that down here as there's a little bit of extracurricular activities after the play. A little the bit clock of is running down under 20 seconds here as that'll be the last play of the game as the game clock will beat out the play clock here. And that's going to be your final. 51-7 to is the score here as the Eagles will pick up their first win on the season over the Iowa Colony Pioneers. Fort Bend will move to 1-0 on the season. And Iowa Colony will move to 0-1. Great game here from the Eagles. A lot of great stuff 
on offense, on defense, and special teams, but Jackson is currently time for us to pick a player of the game. Who are you thinking? I, I think it is clearly Kobe Sellers. I would agree with you, Jackson. Kobe Sellers with two touchdowns on the night, making his impact on the pass or on the punts returns, on the kicker turns, and even on defense. Kobe Sellers, an all-around player, a great athlete, and he has definitely earned the title of player of the game for the home opener. And that'll do it here from Sugarland. I'm Jackson Champion, and this is Derek Jordan. We're signing off as Eagles pick up their first win at home. Next weekend, we'll be on the road in Dallas as Fort Bend takes on Dallas Christian up in Dallas for a big rematch from last year's loss, 35-14 to here in Fort Bend. I'm Jackson Champion. This is Derek Jordan signing off. We'll see you next week.